Uh, my name is Wolfgang Meyer. I'm the deputy director of the University Eye Hospital in Munich, Germany. I'm the head of the coronal and refractive department there and very busy in uh, coronal and uh, lens surgeries. The EV lenses are for me great lenses because uh, they offer me a huge range of indication for the elder and younger generation because the lens provides for me a high amount of um, uh, contrast sensitivity compared to diffractive lenses. Uh, they cannot achieve that amount of contrast sensitivity and that's an important um, feature the lens has. The EMV lenses induce positive spherical aberration and you know uh, naturally if you have high positive spherical aberration uh, the patient's not goes no well with trifocal or diffractive lenses so um, you know you have to find a little bit the uh, sweet hit of spherical aberration preoperative and postoperative and with the EMV lenses I think you go really well with, uh, in including patients uh, to get rid of glasses uh, even for functionally vision. most critical part is for me uh, the high contrast in sensitivity and uh, less optical phenomena and uh, tell my patients if you want to get rid of this phenomena and one still choose a glass-free lens or nearly glass-free lens you have to take the in real lens because it's doing great in far distance intermediate and even if you do a slight mini mono vision also maybe in near vision. Patients now, they, they are still, even the elder ones, uh, even now in a good life conditions, they want to work, they want to have hobbies, don't want to wear glasses and want still have a high maintenance in their visual acuity and uh, to hold that. And uh, I think with the EMV lenses, uh, you can do that uh, because of the high contrast uh, sensitivity. And that's for me an option when you can provide this to patients with less optical phenomena. That's a really nice solution. Actually, a patient who is, in, is still in working life, maybe has cataract or is a refractive patient who gets, wants to get rid of glasses, um, I tell them, you know, there is no lens out there perform everything in every condition. But I tell them, what is your main conditions you have during the day? And so is it reading? Is it, is it a hobby? Is it working? Looking at the computer? And uh, with the EMV lens, you can do mostly anything. So, uh, especially driving at night, uh, uh, doing everything in the far and in intermediate distance. And of course, you can read still the smartphones or tablets. That's okay. For reading, you have to choose if it's the right lens. Uh, maybe with the mini mono vision, I told you before, that can be an indication. But yeah. If patients come to my private setting or in university hospital and they want to get uh, lens surgery, ask them to uh, have other opportunities, maybe get rid of a glass of your glass, then of course uh, the Ray 1 uh, is an opportunity because uh, due to the, uh, the lens design we have the uh, ability to have really good contrast sensitivity after the surgery. I tell them compared to diffractive uh, lens designs that I think and, and the most advantage we have with the EMV, so the amount of optical phenomena after lens implantation is I think really less when uh, dealing with the EMV lens. Because you know we have one, two big amounts of lenses, the, the refractive ones and the diffractive ones. And the refractive ones like the EMV, you have the chance to have less optical phenomena. And that's one critical point every patient now asks when they want to inform or want to get informed about new lens designs. And that's a keyhole uh, message you have to tell them, okay, what is happening after the lens surgery? Do they have any side effects? And uh, I think with the EMV design, especially with inducing a little bit spherical aberration, they go really well. Thank you.